Marcia Gall was a Belarusian French artist. Art critic Robert Hughes referred to Chagall as the quintessential Jewish artist of the 20th century. Though Chagall saw his work not the dream of one people, but of all humanity. An early modernist, he was associated with several major artistic styles and created works in virtually every artistic medium, including painting, book illustration, stained glass, stage sets, ceramics, tapestries, and fine art prints. According to art historian Michael J. Lewis, Chagall was considered to be the last survival of the first generation of European modernists. For decades, he had also been respected as the world's preeminent Jewish artist. Using the medium of stained glass, he produced windows for the cathedrals of Reims and Metz, windows for the UN, and the Jerusalem windows in Israel. He also did large-scale large paintings, including part of the ceiling of the Paris Opera. Before World War I, he traveled between St. Petersburg, Paris, and Berlin. During this period, he created his own mixture and style of modern art based on his idea of Eastern European Jewish folk culture. He spent the wartime years in Soviet Belarus, becoming one of the country's most distinguished artists and a member of the modernist avant-garde, founding the Vietzebysk Art College before leaving again for Paris in 1922. I can't pronounce that, so sorry. He had two basic reputations, writes Lewis, as a pioneer of modernism and as a major Jewish artist. He experienced modernism's golden age in Paris, where he synthesized the art forms of Cubism, Symbolism, and Fauvism, and the influence of Fauvism gave rise to Surrealism. Yet throughout the these phases of his style, he remained most emphatically a Jewish artist, whose work was one, one long dreamy reverie of life in his village of Vyestovic. I messed that up again, see? When Matisse dies, Pablo Picasso remarked in 1950, Chagall will be the only painter left who understands what color really is.